After this video, you have a fully functional Monero GUI wallet on your Windows device as well as your own local node so that you can mine, earn and contribute to the XMR network from the same machine and application. Timestamps below, let's do this. All roads lead to getmonero.org, Monero's official homepage. Today we are going for the GUI, which stands for Graphical User Interface. Grab the install from there. It might be the case that the files get flagged by your firewall or antivirus. Easiest would be to add exceptions for all the folder paths you plan on using today, especially mining software is often wrongly flagged. After install, we get a few options on how to set up the wallets. If we would not care about the full node, mining and give up some of the privacy aspects, we would choose simple setup and be done faster. But nah, of course not. We go advanced mode. Now you can decide if you want to create a new wallet or import with a few different options. If not planning to use it with a hardware wallet, I would recommend to continue offline for now until you have your seed written down. As soon as you click to create new wallet here, you will immediately see your seed. I'd also recommend to never copy this anywhere, really physically write it down. The safer and way better option is to create a wallet with your existing hardware device like Ledger or Trezor. Like this, your seed is never revealed. No support for my trusty old Trezor Model 1, but all different ledgers or Trezor Model T works. So for this video, I'm continuing with a Ledger Nano S. If you run into problems here like I did first, check that both the hardware wallet software like Ledger Live as well as the Monero wallet are run as administrator. I also had an issue where my Ledger did not like it on one OSB port, but not the other. But ultimately, my wallet was created. Mind that the password you set here has nothing to do with your seed phrase or ledger. It's just for unlocking the instance of your wallet app. Say you do the same thing on a different machine, you could set another password. Also, this password does not protect your seed phrase. This is really just for leaving your machine open and not someone else having physical access. If you lose this password, you would just need to restart the whole process of this video, but restore from seed phrase or hardware wallet instead of creating a new one and you're fine. Next we come to the daemon settings, the hard and to be honest rather user unfriendly part. We need a copy of the Monero blockchain. When making this video, this is already around 150 gigabyte of space you need to keep updated. But there is a solution to that. And hell yeah, it makes total sense to do this on a server. But for that you could use the command line wallet version and instead of the GUI. Believe me, it's also on the video list. We are staying simple with the GUI in Windows today though. There is one solution to not have to always download the whole chain. It's called pruning. So we check that box. This will save you tons of time. To oversimplify, a pruned blockchain is a little bit like a RAID setup is for hard drives. It does not need to store the full blockchain in order to verify what's going on, but still has enough data to be legit. It's really oversimplified. Definitely friendlier as we are talking about a third of the space needed. I gave it a custom location for the blockchain as well to not fill up my boot drive. This really is the longest part of everything. With the prune style though, it was not that bad as I remember it from years before. My internet is not the best in the countryside, paying for 80 Mbit I never fully receive. And yet I managed to finish the whole download on the same day, around 7 hours for me. Mind that the kind of drive you are downloading to will matter as well. It was NVMe in my case, but no Gen 4. Also, it is normal that it goes a bit slower after 50% if you're wondering. I remember the days where you would need to set aside a whole week for doing this because also synchronization would crash repeatedly and sometimes needs resyncs. These times seem to be over in 2023 and besides still needing to download a chunk of data, the user experience got way better. The folder I dedicated to the blockchain is not fully 55GB in February of 2023. For this hassle, you are running your own local node just like that. First of all, congratulations, you now have the GUI and your own Monero local node running, synced and ready to go. Most importantly, from the receive tab, you can copy your address and receive crypto via the QR code and also do more. Of course, we cannot just leave it at the pure basics. What is great about the Monero GUI is that it kept evolving with the community. You can directly mine Monero and support the network further from within the wallet. No need to download anything yourself. 
we get two options here. One is pure solo mining. One is a new hybrid variant through P2 pool, decentralized solo mining in a pool. If your ears prick up now hearing this, yes, this might have inspired the video today and we will build on it because there are some amazing things you can do with P2 pool. For today, the difference to solo mining is that with a single machine or a small hash rate, nowadays you really need to be lucky to hit a block alone. So for solo mining, a valuable option is rather set and forget and hope you do get lucky. We do see cases like that from time to time and at the moment the block reward would be 0.6 XMR. From my research, P2 pool manages to also give smaller miners payouts more regularly while keeping the advantages of solo mining. So no custodial wallet holding funds, no pool fees, but it has some other caveats for that. I want to test and compare that to other pools we mentioned like Monero Ocean and I'm oversimplifying today because as you might have guessed, I want to dedicate a video to it. There's some interesting tech behind P2 pool, but for exploring that we will need our own node. So we covered some basics today. Either way you choose for mining, you are supporting the Monero network no matter what. In the GUI we get a bit less customization than in dedicated mining software like XMRIG. But again the convenience factor is amazing and I like Monero's philosophy of bundling mining software with core infrastructure. This is correct crypto nerd education in my book and perfect to get our feet wet and CPUs warm. Here I would test depending on your chip and on the workload of your system. A very general rule for Monero mining was always that 2 MB of L3 cache are needed per thread of your CPU that is mining, so you can do a little bit of calculation. Since random X, this is again oversimplifying because L1 and L2 cache started to matter more as well as RAM even more than before, but it can still serve as a starting point. Then maybe see if your system is stable while surfing or doing light work so that you can set and forget it in the background. This is how I do it for work machines. Also, I would recommend to check the fan curves of your CPU cooler. Often those are set very conservative. If you don't mind a little bit of fan noise, you can often mine Monero on the side without feeling it too much in heat. And I honestly don't hear much difference on my NHD 15. For most, it will matter what your system is chewing on at the moment. For example, as soon as I stop the screen recording, my hash rate jumps up about 2 to 3 kilo hash, no matter my setting. So additionally to the wallet and node, you are now mining Monero with your CPU. We'll leave it at that today, but you got a few glimpses of where we can go deeper here. Think running your own P2 pool instance to point other machines to it or doing this whole thing from a server and more. I'll leave you an a bit older video of mine about optimizing your machine for Monero mining in the top right corner. That and custom mining software would be the next step to tackle if you want to improve your hash rate. But we'll get to it. Stay tuned. This channel deals with everything technology and crypto and you know we always have a heart for Monero. If that interests you, please leave us a like and a sub. Happy mining and bye!